This is a Roborock S7 Max Ultra. It is a really interesting robot from uh, Roborock. Uh, uh, I have a huge hopes about it because it is somewhere middle ground between uh, new and old and probably a best budget buy. But let's not jump to conclusions and see what is in the box. Uh, this is a European version, so let's check it out. Okay, on the top we have uh, some documentation, a bottom plate, a main robot, looking beautiful. Let's take it out. A power cord, I think that th these are the bags. Okay, I will need two hands for this. This is a, a dock. It looks astonishing. Just look how beautiful it is. A beautiful sunny day and a beautiful new toy for me. So we have here a 7 Max Ultra and we have here a 7 uh, Max Wii with uh, auto empty dock, but this here is a special treat for me uh, something new something which i really like uh, the build quality is amazing uh, that is what uh, is uh, universal for all all rubber rubber rock products and this will be my upgrade for uh, my s7 max wii uh, it is definitely going into retirement S7 Max Wii and uh, I'm gonna use S7 Max Ultra uh, because I truly believe from my research that this is a best buy option now from Roborock range if you are uh, get getting into features of uh, a robot like this. I am in Europe and this is what you get in European package. So this is everything you get in S7 Max Ultra packaging. You also get one bag for auto empty bin and you get a power cord. The idea about this is to do a uh, first startup right now and show you how, how things should work out. So let's check that out. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna move my uh, S7 Max Wii on the side and turn it off. Around every robot there is usually a lot of debris and this is the case with rubber rock. So let's clean with uh, rubber rock. It is getting crowded here. Okay, Max we it is time to go. As far as I see, there are alternative ways to power on the dock, which is quite a nice addition. Okay, the cable is in. If I compare this new dock with the old only just empty dock, it looks like a toy. This is really impressive, big and if you ask me, even better design than dock from uh, S8 series, but that is just my humble opinion. Okay, let's try it out. It is powering on. Try again. Okay, it seems that I will need manually to put the robot inside the bay, and I also forgot to, to place the it needs to go like this. Actually, it should go like this because the charging pins are on the front. These are the charging pins here. Low battery. Recharge and try again. Charging. 
you heard it it starts charging uh, let it refill a bit and that would be it regarding charging let's remove this. there are so many of them sounds beautiful isn't it okay max wheel let's go in your in your bay oops okay let's pair s and max ultra enter your robot robot rock app without the code we have uh, sn max ultra uh, 5g is not supported keep that in mind here is the robot It should go smoothly. Wi Fi connected. Done. Use now. Okay, you get some initial prompts. You want to enable map saving. My apartment doesn't have floors offline map this is also nice thing to have okay this is initial screen you like on the previous rubber rocks the app is uh, amazing so I won't go deep uh, now inside of it you see the charging is showing uh, like 0% I will check that uh, later a bit uh, it is worth mentioning that in the dustbin there is also pre-installed uh, dust bag so you get two one spare one and one for initial use so this was my initial video regarding a 7 max ultra uh, you see regarding uh, aesthetics at least for me it looks beautiful i would like to hear your opinion i wanted a white color because i have experience with s7 uh, max v which is a dust magnet in black so the white color color is definitely preferable for, for me in the upcoming future it is really interesting to see these two standing like this if you are first time watcher uh, subscribe for more upcoming videos regarding these robots I have really, really good uh, videos, reviews, opinions upcoming. And until next time, see ya.